Another feature of this platform is the tool library. We can navigate to the tool library via the tool tabs here. The software in the tool library is mainly used to work with bulk data. Where remember these bulk data files are the large scale assay measurements that include things like imaging and genomics data. We've already shown you one tool app, the table exporter app. Next, let's look at another commonly used tool called Swiss Army Knife. The name Swiss Army Knife comes from the fact that it contains a collection of these many handy genomics tools and ones that you're probably familiar with, including SAM tools and VCF tools. To run this tool, we'll click the Run button here. This will then open a pop-up window where we will specify the output directory where we want to write our results to. So here we'll select the root directory of our project and then click Next. Now for just a brief tour of the tool's execution page, we first have this Inputs tab where you'll specify your various input parameters where the required input parameters are highlighted in orange here. Then there is the Outputs tab with the location that you selected your results to be written to. And then in the top right-hand corner here, we can specify the configurations for the instance that the job will be run on. And then we can also click here to see documentation about this tool. So that's roughly how you navigate the tool's execution page. Now let's walk through an example. So for this example, let's use VCF tools to calculate the allele frequency for a given file. The first thing we'll need to do is specify our inputs. So let's navigate back to our inputs tab. So first we'll specify the input file that we'll use. Where in this case, we will use an example whole exome sequencing VCF file that we renamed here for security reasons. Next, one special thing about the Swiss Army Knife app is that compared to other tools in the tool library, that this app consists of many different tools. And so because of this, we need to specify the tool we want to use by using the command prompt. So for example, if we want to use VCF tools to calculate the allele frequency of our input file, we'll need to specify VCF tools by typing in the following command. Then we can click Start Analysis to run this job. And so here we can specify the priority of our job, and then we can launch this analysis. So we can check the progress of the job via the Monitor tab that will be automatically rerouted to after the job is submitted. And so here is our job that's waiting to be run. When this job is done processing, it will create an output file that will automatically be uploaded into our project in the output folder that we specified. Now let's go back to our Swiss Army Knife tool page and show you an alternative way to run this using something called DXFuse. DXFuse is a file system that allows users to access the storage in the DNA Nexus system and is only available in some apps. So now instead of specifying the input parameter up here, we can put the file path in the command line prompt using DXFuse. To do so, we will need to put slash mount slash project in front of the input file path, where the full command will look something like this.
So this mount slash project is called mounting, which is made possible by DXFUSE. And this is why the command prompt is the only required input since it's possible to specify everything needed to run Swiss Army Knife using the command prompt. And then we can again click start analysis and launch our job. And now we can see that our previous job has successfully completed running and our new job is waiting to be run.